Hi everyone, this is the quick guide into overcoming any negative emotions that you might be have any time of the day or night. The quick guide is a quick reference guide for you to be able to take all of the tools and techniques that you're going to learn in the Jumpstart programs and have access to them really quickly because there's a lot of information here. And so firstly I want to say, I want to acknowledge that yes there is a lot of information and it will require you to practice a lot. It's you're relearning and retraining. And so what I've done for this particular video here for your own personal benefit to make it easier and simpler, faster, more effective for you to get to the uh, the core techniques that you're going to need to be able to make change is giving you a quick guide um, video. So let's get started. All right, so the first technique I'm going to show you here, and this is in no particular order, okay? And the first one is the TV technique. Okay, so what the TV technique is, imagine the situation that is making you feel bad. Imagine the problem, imagine the people in it. And as you're imagining it, imagine it to be on a big movie screen. And you're sitting in the chair watching this big television screen. Now the beautiful thing about this is you have the remote control in your hand. And I want you to observe the vivid colour that you're seeing this memory in. And as you observe the colour, you hear the sounds, you smell the smells, you see it all there on the television screen. You're actually going to turn the colour down. Turn it down. Turn it down until it's black and white. Turn it down until any of the... Um, keep turning it down until it turns to TV snow. And as it does, it starts to sound like... And any other sounds, textures, feelings, smells, sensations that you may have been having start to dissipate because you're actually turning the whole entire memory picture down to television snow. And as you do that, you're going to bring it to a point where on the remote you hit the off button. The television is now off and you're just looking at a blank screen. So now what I'd like you to do in relation to this is imagine something that makes you feel good and in a minute we're going to turn the television on and that feel good memory is going to be there in full colour. Are you ready? And I'll give you a prompt. That memory could be looking at the flowers. Like right now I'm just looking out the window and I've got the most beautiful rock or orchid flowers, the most beautiful pink rock or orchid flowers. It's warm outside, the sun's around. Um, the laughter of your children, spending time with a loved one, being at the beach, um, I don't know, being in front of a warm fire, whatever your feel-good memory is, imagine it. And as I count to three, we're going to turn the television on and that's what's going to appear on the television. One, two, three, turn it on and see this feel-good memory. See the time spent, feel the feelings, hear the sounds, smell the smells, taste the tastes. You're there and you're enjoying it. You can smell that beautiful woody fire smell, the smoky smell, and you can feel the blanket around you, it's comforting. Or if you're walking on the beach with no shoes, you can feel the warmth of the sand or the coolness of the sand under your feet. And the breeze blowing on you. It's amazing. See it in beautiful, vivid colour. Feel how free you feel. Feel how fresh and encouraging and supportive and nurtured you feel right now in this moment. And as you do that, really breathe it in. <sighs> Fantastic. And just turn the television off for a minute. Now you have a neutral screen. You've had two experiences. And in a second we're going to turn the television back on and when you do you're going to bring forward the original memory that didn't make you feel good. One, two, three, turn it on. Now see that original memory. Notice how it's different. Notice what's different about it. Notice whether it's in colour or black and white. Notice whether there's separation and divide between you and the initial problem. Feel the feelings. Are they different? How are they different? Where in your body are they different? What is it that's telling you that this memory is now changed? That's the first technique and it's a hugely powerful one. It's something that only takes a minute really at tops. It took a little longer because I needed to explain it to you but it takes about a minute for you to be able to do that. 
Okay, so the second technique is cartoon characters. I want you to be able to see the face, the image of the people and the situation and the things that have been giving you the irrits, the things that have been, uh, mm, that you would deem to be a problem for you. I want you to see them as cartoon characters and there are no rules here. You can make this as wacky, as crazy, as far out and as outlandish as you possibly want. See them with Bugs Bunny ears and bucky teeth and see them dressed up in a tutu with a bee belly and a big red nose and see them dancing around in high heels with suspenders. See them with a tail. See them doing the chicken dance and getting around. See them being so ridiculous that the um the point of influence, the part that gave you the problem, the part that you didn't like, the part that is making you feel bad, no longer has any power over you. See them as really little and you as really big. Allow yourself to feel strong and powerful while they're weak and diminished in your mind. Notice how that now changes the problem. Notice how you, it changes how you feel. Notice how there's a sense of humour about it because it's so absurd and ridiculous. <laughs> Whatever. You crazy little miniature rabbit wearing high heels and suspenders. <laughs> okay, the next technique is the thanks mind. Thanks mind is about acknowledgement. We all want to be acknowledged. We want to all be heard. We all want to be valued and validated. The thing with it is that we don't often spend enough time or any time hearing and validating ourselves and we put all the power in um, seeking external validation. And so that voice, that nagging voice that wants to constantly share all the negative things with you, the things that make it feel bad, the things that are just criticizing and self-berating. It goes on and on and on and on. Who do you think you are? What do you think you're doing? You couldn't possibly do that. They're not going to let you blah, 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 blah. That voice was created because you felt inferior at some, at some point in your life. It doesn't mean that it's true. And so if you just acknowledge that voice and say thank you for sharing voice, Thank you for sharing. Yes, I hear you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for reminding me of what you think. Thank you for reminding me of how you're feeling. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to hear you. Thank you. Now, this is a really important thing for internal validation because what it's doing is it's not pushing away. It's not denying or making wrong the part of you that feels insecure or less than. It's acknowledging that part of you and it's just saying, yes, I hear you. I'm not going to give you any more, any more energy other than acknowledging that I hear you. But I'm doing you, or giving you respect. And that's all you really are looking for. You're really just looking for some love and respect, some positive attention. The thank you mind is a really great way to be able to do that. The next one, this is a little tricky and I'm never very good at it, but it's singing your thoughts. So let's just say, I'm so ugly is the thing that you um, say to yourself. I'm fat and ugly. Choose a tune that you can apply that statement to and sing it. Now, everybody says happy birthday, but I'm to be honest, I'm not so good at this. <laughs> I'm so ugly, I'm so ugly, I'm so fat and ugly, I'm so fat and ugly. Can you see how that sounds? So very ridiculous. And every time I call myself fat and ugly, how can you take it serious? Now, there you go. I'm not going to do it again. Don't ask me to do it ten times fast. Um, but that's how you can also work with your repetitive thoughts. Try it, sing it, put a tune to it, put a tune that's actually a happy feel good tune and sing the negativity and see how it's different. There's another one here. Your mind is a parrot. Your mind is a parrot. Your mind is a parrot. I'm so useless. You're so useless. We're so useless. Who, who said you're not useless? We know we're useless. 
Just say it over and over again. Useless, 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 useless. Can you see how ridiculous that sounds? Useless, useless, useless. Zero, 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 zero. Milk, 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 milk. <laughs> Have some fun with this. Okay? Even, you know... Anxious, 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 Fat, 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 fat. Can you see how ridiculous it starts to sound? It loses all meaning. It's just a word, but it only has power over you because of the meaning you attach to it. When you make that word sound so ridiculous, like milk, 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 zero, 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 fat, 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 useless, 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 it you it loses the power it has over you and you can you, it becomes manageable there's a way for you to be able to work with it so then though for those of you who are a little bit more creative there's the opportunity to draw a comic strip and that's a, it's a way for you to doodle, express yourself, and you can create. It's a way to create it. Create whatever you want, you know, Superman, Spider-Man, Batman, Peanuts, um I don't even watch comic strip, you know, read the papers or too much, so I don't know what's out there, but create it. You can draw whatever you want. It's your own private little comic strip, and it's a way for you to release and overcome, but it's also a way for you to express. It's a way for you to express exactly what you're feeling, what you would rather have happen. And it's within, you know, it's it's doable for you. You can just doodle, everybody doodles. Draw yourself a comic strip. See the other person falling in a hole. See them sailing away on a boat. See Spider-Man wrapping them up in spider webs. It's completely up for your imagination as to how you want to put distance. It's called diffusion. Diffuse the situation. Diffuse the memory. The last one is tapping. There's a few ways to tap. One of the most common ways that I use to tap is uh, the five meridian points um, on the face here, inside the eyebrow, outside the eyebrow, under the eye, on the collarbone and grabbing the wrist. Okay, So you can do any version of that that you like. You can do imaginary in your mind tapping. It all works as effectively as the next method. Um, and so when you do this, you can touch, you can rub, you can tap, and as you do that, focus on the problem and simply say, I let it go. I let it go. I let it go. And as you do this, grab your wrist, breathe in, breathe out, and say peace. There is another version of the tapping, and it's purely left and right um, brain interaction okay and so what you do is you take any hand any finger it doesn't matter so long as you could do do it like this you can do it like this you can do it on your body anywhere you can do it on your legs it makes no different but so long as you're just doing this and what it actually does is when you think about the problem think about whatever it was that was giving you the problem in the first place and I'm just thinking that's why my eyes are going everywhere I'm thinking of something that made me feel bad recently. I'm just tapping, tap, 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 and you say, let it go, I let it go. And as you do, you might notice that your eyes start wandering into the position of thinking about something that makes you feel good. Now think about something that makes you feel good. It's beautiful. It's good. And I don't have a um, another piece of paper, but this is one that I've just remembered that I wanted to share with you. And that is looking up. Now the way I'm going to explain this one to you is think of something that makes you feel bad. Remember something that's happened in the past that makes you feel bad. You're going to look down and you're going to look to the left as you do that. And I'm not telling you that that is what I want you to do. I'm going to tell you that's where those memories are stored and that's where the IQ is for it. Down and to the left. Good. So we're all connected, we're all established, we're all in the thought process of looking down and to the left because we're all engaging the parts of our brain and our physiology that tells us mm -hmm, that makes us feel bad. Simply bring your eyes up. As you bring your eyes up, you're able to engage in the memory, the part of the brain that actually activates the feel-good feelings. Think of something like being at the beach, floating in the water, hugging your kids, spending time with loved ones and family, watching a good movie. <sighs> 
the sunshine outside. It's beautiful. It's awesome. It's amazing. So there you go. That, my friends, is the quick guide for you for all the tools and techniques, some of the tools and techniques that are easily accessible for you to have any time of the day or night. You can do them while you're driving. You can do them with your eyes shut. You can do them while you're in company. You can do them in private. The more time you have available, obviously, the more in-depth you're going to be able to go with it. But if you're in the middle of a business meeting and somebody's doing something that's triggering you and you're really feeling those emotions come, there is absolutely nothing stopping you from recognizing that. And chances are you're going to be going, oh my God, and you just look up, think about your kids giving you beautiful gummy kisses and hugging them and tickling them and listening to them laugh. You could grab your wrist take a breath and and then refocus on the conversation and move forward it allows you to put distance between you and whatever it is that's making you feel bad so you can make a better choice of how you choose to respond awesome all the power to you much love headed your way and I'm so glad to be able to bring you this quick guide